Hello some guys, I'm Ethan Kristoff. This is Season 1, Episode 7 of Leveling Up in Wildcraft. And today I'm playing as the Lynx. The reason why I'm playing as the Lynx is because I need to level up 3 of my animals to level 70 in order to become an expert rank. And so far I've leveled up 2 of my animals, the Wolf and the Fox, over level 70. The Wolf is over level 100, meanwhile I made the Fox just recently get to level 70. But because the third animal I played as was the lynx, I'm making the lynx level 70, not the bear or any other animal. Also, you might be wondering why I haven't made a Wildcraft episode in a bit of a long time. I just didn't want to record. Plus, I've been focusing more on my original relaxing Chrome Music Lab song with echoes and versions of it in Fancade. If you haven't watched the song or you want to know more details of it, I got an inspiration from my own creation, which is the first and second digits of X to the power of N in Desmos. But what I was mostly inspired about is the first and second digits of X to the power of 2.5. This is what it sounds like. X to the power of 2.5 actually had a nice melody to it, so I was thinking of making a song about it. I changed that melody a bit, so it sounds better in Chrome Music Lab. And it worked. And this time I didn't need to show it in showing some of my Chrome Music Lab songs part 4. And also in the song, some part of the melody is also from 8.25 to the power of N, and there are also some parts that I created myself, like this part of the song that makes the song sound not too boring and, and adds a lower tone to the song so it sounds more complete. Later on in the song, I added another part I made myself as well so I have more lower tones. And also to make the song have echoes, I used an app to reverb it and make the song sound like it's in a very large echoey room with no furniture or something. Also, I'm going to try to speedrun more, and I'm also going to try to upgrade more of my Desmos coloring, because as you can see in my latest video, other than this video, I actually made coloring in Desmos version 6. If you don't know how this works, there are 6 colors. These 6 colors are red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. And, and each of these colors in RGB have 255 in each of them. And what I did in the coloring for Desmos version 6 is that I can mix the colors. If I first put red into the solution, it will be making red x1, one drop or whatever, of the color. Then uh, it's the same for green and blue. But for yellow, cyan, and magenta, it's different. If you put yellow in, it's going to put one times red and one times green at the same time. If you put cyan, it'll become one times green and one times blue. If you put magenta, it'll become one times red and one times blue. There's also a clicks variable in the Desmos coloring. I play formula, and this formula makes the color inside the middle hexagon be it'll be all the colors you mix together divided by the amount of times you clicked which means that mixing a yellow cyan or magenta color will make your finalized color more brighter than if you just mixed red green and blue i tried many different coloring and mixing methods in other coloring in desmos versions because i couldn't really figure out which one i could actually use so i'm wondering what formula is the most realistic version of mixing colors like like what i mean is that if you were to get paint or anything like that in real life and then you're trying to mix it with another paint so like you're trying to mix red paint and green paint Will you actually get dark yellow paint, or will you get yellow paint, or will you get something else? That's what I was trying to figure out when I was doing the Desmos color mixer. It was kind of challenging to find which one worked or not, because I don't paint too often, but I do paint in some of my older videos from a few years ago, where I did a project for my school, and I painted a tree. When I was a lynx in the beginning of the video, that was actually yesterday, and I was having an adventure rank. 
this is the Adventure Ranks logo. But if you look at my rank right now, you can see that I'm already expert rank. And there are more ranks I can achieve. But that's gonna be kind of hard to achieve if I'm not leveling up too much in Wildcraft. I've also completed more Wild Pass tasks recently. The problem is I can't really do this earn 5,000 coins with Animal Cheetah on any map yet. I mean, I already earned 1,300 coins with my Animal Cheetah on any map, but I actually needed to press the try button on the Cheetah because I didn't get the cheetah from the chests or anything. I mostly get the wolf, the fox, or something else random from the chests. And I don't want that to happen. I also can't do the take part in two duels still because I still don't know who to duel with. But I can try to find a way to duel someone or take part in a duel with someone. I don't think it necessarily means I have to win the duel. but. I would like to win in the duel rather than just lose or sometimes win, sometimes lose. I've been trying to see if someone with a very low level will duel me or something, but I don't see too much low level players who want to duel me. But it's okay, as long as I can get the cheetah from the chests or something, I can complete that task, then I'll complete another task and then another and another until there's another take part in duels with any character. Also, I will show you my C minor scaled version of my relaxing original Chrome Music Lab song. Subscribe to my channel, Ethan Kristoff. Comment, share, and like this video. Accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Remember that He died on the cross to redeem your sins. Repent from your sins. Read the Bible and pray every day. Bye, guys.